I'm Charles Eisenstein. I'm a speaker and a writer. My main theme is the transition in our civilization's stories, the deep stories, the mythology, from a story of separation, the separate self, human separate from nature, to a new and ancient story of interconnection, ecology, and even interbeing, and also how this change in stories is expressed as a change in our systems, in our psychology, in technology, medicine, everything is in a time of transition right now. So I talk about where are we coming from and where are we going to? Most people today are aware that we're in a crisis and that this is not a crisis that can be fixed with, um, that can be fixed at all, but that these multiple crises share a common origin. They're all part of a bigger thing that's happening that goes all the way to the bottom, all the way to who we understand ourselves to be and, and what is real uh, and why we're here as human beings. This affects everything. And in a way, um, there's a saying that, that, that whatever one desires, one is also afraid of. So we sense a big transition, a big change coming, and we are afraid of it at the same time as we want it. Beautiful question, what can I do? That comes from the pain and the grief over what's happening in this world. Um, it's, it's the right question, and it gets channeled onto the wrong things through the sense of uh, despair and panic. It gets channeled onto the kinds of solutions that we already know. But in fact, the climate crisis is a symptom of a deeper crisis. And the healing of the climate depends on a healing of humanity uh, on a social level, on a relational level, on a personal level. If we are at war with each other, if we are sick within ourselves, then there is no way that we're ever going to be a healing presence on this planet. So what can I do? It's not just you know, something march about climate or do something about carbon or something like that. Um, it could also be healing work in the social realm, uh, in the family, uh, even the body, uh, the mind, the emotions, the spirit. Any healing is part of the healing of the climate crisis because everything is connected. Most people already know what to do. Um, and rather than give examples or tell people what to do, I would merely point to their knowing of what practice, what new practice maybe would be a gift to themselves and to the world. And if they don't know, if you don't know, then to orient to that question, because the question will bring an answer. What keeps me going in this work are the other people in the work, the community that is growing around um, not necessarily my specific work, but in general, the work that we're all serving, the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible. So if I have weakness or despair or futility, if I think this isn't working, um, it's hopeless, then somebody else will remind me, maybe not in words directly, but through their example, they can hold the field on my behalf to hold me in that field. So we keep each other going.